Hello, my loves. Hello, hello. I'm trying to see if my husband is home. Um, it's been a while. It's been a while. And it's been a crazy while, I'll just say. Um, I have so much to tell you guys. Like, the reason why I have not been uploading, um, like, my big videos is because my kids have been sick. They've been really sick. Um, and a lot's happened. A lot of bad things have happened. Um, you know, I think the last one, my, my update video, I think I told you guys I had an infection. Well, I did not, I was not able to get in like any doctor that I have. So, I had to treat myself at home. Um, I first did teoconazole, which is the one day yeast infection treatment, okay, just to see if that was it, maybe. Um, so that didn't help. I got worse, like, after three days, my symptoms came back, like, tenfold. It was, it was insane. Um, so that was, that was the day I think I called my doctor. Um, because it was over the weekend. It was, I started my period on, like, a Saturday, and then I called on, like, a Monday. So technically, it was, like, two days or something. But anyways... Yeah, I couldn't get in. Um, my doctor is like off for like four weeks after this Friday. And she has nothing. Not even this week. Um, I cannot get this open for the life of me. I'm going to stab it like you do medicine bottles. There we go. Anyways, so yeah, tried to get in. Um, no, I couldn't. And I was very upset that they wouldn't just call me in something. So, I did my research. And, obviously, I am a former pharmacy technician. So, or not. I'm still a pharmacy technician. I'm just not actively working. So, I know about my drugs, you know. Um, so, I, whenever we're sick, I always keep, like, antibiotics if we don't use them. Like, one time we had COVID, I didn't even take my z pack, So, I kept it, just in case. Um... I had some clindamycin because I had an infection right after I had my daughter. I'm pretty sure that it was a, um, it was like mastitis or something. Um, or it might have not, no, I don't even think it was mastitis. I thought it was mastitis. It was just an infection in my breast. Like I had a cut and it had got infected. So they prescribed me clindamycin for a bacterial infection. Well, when you have a, bacterial infection in your lady bits, um, they will most of the time prescribe you madronazole or however you say it, but they'll do that first. And then if it doesn't work, they'll prescribe you clindamycin. Well, I had clindamycin, so I looked up the dosage that they would normally do because I didn't know that. Um, and I took it and I'm on like the last day of it and I am finally feeling a lot better. Thank God. But my poor girls, Abigail got sick on Friday, this past Friday, and she had hands, foot, and mouth. And she didn't get very bad. She was actually okay after a couple of days. She ran fever, and it did get very high. It got to 103.5, I believe. Um, but we alternated Tylenol and Motrin, and she did, she did well. So it was good. Um, then, a couple of days later, she started breaking out in a rash, which was crazy, and it was like two days in a row. She rashed out on us, and we were like, what is this? Um, and the same day that uh, Abigail started getting sick, which was Friday, we came home, and Amelia had been fine the whole morning, so I didn't make an appointment for her. Well, when we got home, she threw up everywhere. And it was a lot. She threw up three times in a row. And it was so bad, y'all. Like, oh my. But anyways, we're on day six now. And Amelia still is, she's not 100% still. And now, I don't even know. I've, they've never had a stomach virus. Like, literally, my kids have never had a stomach virus. She's four, almost five. She's like four and three quarters. Um, yeah, she's never had a stomach bug in her whole little life, um, and neither has Abigail, 
But Abigail has been fine. So I'm kind of worried that she's going to get it at some point. You know. And we've had major drama. Um, I don't know if you... I, I think I've told you guys. Yeah, I've had to have told you guys. Because I go to the church sometimes in my videos. I have been the janitor for our church for the past six or seven years and we have not been able to go to church or the business meetings in a while because of vacation and because of the kids being sick and my husband's call schedule we just haven't been able to go they like replaced us they replaced me because I'm the janitor or whatever you want to call it I clean the church they replaced me and nobody told well our pastor and all the people in business did not tell us thankfully our neighbor goes to our church and he is friends with my husband's papa and they were talking and he told him and of course his papa called my husband's mom and told her and she called us and told us and we were like because I literally had just cleaned the church. And to beat it all, I let a lady in our church borrow my backdrop holder that I use for the girls' birthdays. I let her borrow it for her son's wedding. And I went in there. I went to the fellowship hall to try and get the backdrop thing. Because I, I just needed to get it to take it home. Because she was done with it. They had changed the locks on the fellowship hall and did not even tell me. So, I didn't have the correct key to get in there to get my backdrop holder. <laughs> and last week, on Wednesday, I normally text my clients. Because I have clients that are pretty much consistent every week on Thursday and Friday. Well, I technically have them on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. But, I never have to text my Wednesday girl. So, my Thursday girl texts me back and basically lets me go. And didn't give a reason. So, the day before I was supposed to go to her, she let me go. It has been one thing after the other, guys. Like, I'm not even joking when I say that I have been so stressed. Like, like no wonder I have gotten an infection. Because, you know, stress can cause those. It can cause a yeast infection. It can cause, like, literally anything. Stress can kill you. Like, literally. Plus, we went and looked at a house a while back. I don't even know if I told you guys. We went and looked at a house, and it was beautiful. But, it was, like, literally on top of a mountain. Like, I'm not even joking. I would not be able to get out of that house in the winter. Because, in Tennessee, we have bad winters. Like... They're pretty bad sometimes. It's like ice and then snow and... Well, I say they're bad, but I know our family up north, they have really, really bad winters. So, it's really probably not that bad. But for us, we think it's bad. So, you know. And I'm not a good driver. I'll be honest. I'm not a good driver in regular weather. So, no. So, I was very disappointed about that. And we've been looking and like I can't find anything. My husband... Bless his heart. He wants everything to be perfect. And I keep telling him, I'm like, honey, it doesn't have to be perfect. I literally just want our own place. Like, literally. Because we love our home, but it's not ours. It is his family's. It's his mom and his stepdad's. So, it's not ours. You know? Like, we need our home. We really need our home. And I, that's my goal. Like, I want to be in our house by Christmas, if we can. So... Yeah, there's another journey I'm going to take you on. It's our journey to a house. <laughs> but I love you guys. I wanted to update you all. And I wanted to talk to you most of all because you are my friends. And yeah, that's what life's been like lately. But I hope you guys are doing good. We are finally doing a lot better. So I'm very thankful for that. Um, and I know that, I know that God will take care of us. In all of it, I know that we will be okay. This is just a thing that we have to go through. Just like this infertility crap. Like, it's just something we're having to go through. It sucks, but it'll be okay. 
it'll be okay. So, I love you guys. You matter. You're awesome. Get you a coffee and let's get this. Let's get this all behind us. <laughs> I'll see you in my next one.